Hi friends. I hope you're having a great weekend. I wanted to go live tonight, but I'm way too exhausted and I feel like I wouldn't be much fun and I would have a hard time following the chat. And my allergies are bugging me like you can hear it in my voice. So I feel like I just need to get some rest. So last night I was up late making homemade bread and that's a very long process. And um, usually I get donuts for our church's general conference when we watch it at home, but I don't even feel comfortable picking up donuts from the store. So I don't feel like that's an essential thing. I thought it would be better to just make some homemade bread and make it into French toast. And we still had some frozen strawberries. So I just uh, put those in a bowl and sprinkle them with sugar and let those thaw. And I also had some whipping cream. So we had some French toast with maple syrup and then some with whipped cream and strawberries. I have photos on my Instagram if you want to go check it out. So we, we had three sessions of up, uplifting talks today and we have two more tomorrow. And it's not a strenuous sort of day. It just, I always feel really tired afterwards. And I don't know, this quarantine is probably just making me tired too. <laughs> um, I went to the store a few days ago and I thought, you know, I wish I could have shirts made that say six feet or if you can read this, you're standing too close to me. <laughs> It's so frustrating because I had these teenagers come like less than a foot away from me. And another guy was probably three feet away from people and he was whistling all over the store. And the cluelessness is just maddening. And I just want to yell at everyone. You know, a guy in our town is in the ICU and he's a otherwise young, healthy guy. Like, wake the heck up. He is doing um, better now, thankfully. So he was taken off the ventilator and then almost put back on the ventilator. But now they've moved him to the, the COVID floor and he's not in the ICU anymore. So that is wonderful news. But just knowing someone in our town had such a serious case really sets you on edge. And I have a friend who's trying to order online groceries. So she put in an order today and it's not going to be ready till next Saturday. So if there's something that you really need, your only option is to risk going into the store with all the stupid people. So I'll try not to complain about the stupid shoppers every video, but <laughs> it's annoying. Uh, and then they don't have the tortillas that my parents want. So this is kind of funny and it, it cracks me up. So my parents, well, lots of people are particular, but my parents having health issues are especially particular about what they eat. And there's this one particular brand of tortillas that they like. And, um, you know, they have like soft taco size, fajita, burrito size. There's all these different tortilla sizes. Well, they only like the fajita one in the Guerrero brand. And I have not been able to find it at Fred Meyer. So I thought, well, maybe I'll get the soft taco one. And that ended up being too big. And my mom said, oh, here, you can have these. And she said, that's okay. We'll get it a different kind. Or we'll get it a different time. And like they usually get it from Winco or something. And then they did an online order and managed to get the tortilla that they wanted. And my mom got confused and thought that I had brought that one to them. So when, when I had a list for them again, she said, oh, the uh, we need tortillas. And I said, well, I couldn't find the one you wanted. And she goes, oh, the one you brought last time was fine. And I said, no, you, you gave them back to me because <laughs> They were too big. 
And then she finally realized, oh, that was our, our pickup order. Like you just pull up in front of Fred Meyer and then they bring the groceries out to you and put them in your trunk and you, you pay for them in advance. So, um, the great tortilla search is still on and yeah, if my parents want tortillas in a couple days, they're going to be out of luck. Anyway, uh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I mentioned that and I have some dishes to do and I'm also going to start meal prepping tomorrow for a dinner I'm making on Monday. It's going to be a special dinner and I don't want to give away the surprise. Well, you guys probably, it's not, it's probably not exciting to you, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I should probably have some more entertaining videos coming this week because now it's my kids actual spring break and I won't have to do battle over my computer for editing. And next week, my kids are starting their quote, real online schooling. So this past week was just kind of a warm up for it. And now they're actually going to be counting everything towards their grades. And I have a son who needs to graduate. So, um, yeah, I'm going to continue to try to stay on top of <laughs> uploading at least once a day. Well, I'm not shooting for more than once a day, but I'm trying to put up something once a day. So please let me know how you're doing in the comments. Um, I have so many uh, regular subscribers who I just, I love. And one of the hardest things about being a YouTuber is when someone isn't doing well and then they stop commenting and then you are pretty sure that something has happened to them. So, um, and I know quite a few of you struggle with depression, so I just want to know how you're doing, please. And I, I really hope you're doing well. I'm still kind of in the denial stage and I'm just doing everything I can to distract myself. <laughs> All right, go find me on Instagram because I'm not going to make videos about everything I do, but I do like to share what I'm doing. Thanks so much for watching.